Hi everyone, I am Taiska, and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super duper excited to be doing my first booktube video. I will be mainly focusing on, well today I'll be focusing on children's picture books because I have a four-year-old and two-year-old sons and we go to the library every couple of weeks. We've got a library um, probably about five minutes or so from their daycare. They're building one on the main street in our neighborhood and they just built a new one in the neighboring town. So we are inundated with libraries. Um, and so there's no shortage of books around our house or in our community. So to develop a love of reading for them, we've been reading to them since they were in my womb. Um, I'm a big reader, my husband's a big reader, we come from a family of readers, so it's what we do. And having two, two um, brown boys, two black boys, whatever you want to call them, two African-American boys, Nigerian-American, we're Nigerian. Um, it's been very important to me to find picture books with positive black male protagonists. And so when I go to the library with them, that's what I'm looking for. When they go to the library, they're looking for characters that they recognize, like we generally come back with a Ninja Turtle book or um, Curious George or something else that they recognize from the little bit of TV that they get to watch um, or Pout Pout Fish, something that they read at school. So I have, I'm going to show you the, the books that we got from our latest haul and then talk about some of the ones that were my favorites. So we've got, we got a bunch of them. A Visit to Grandad, an African ABC by Shade, Shade Fadipe and Shedrak Ayalome. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But um, I love this book. This is an example of um, what happens when you tell your own story. So this is a picture, I, I, I assume it takes place in Nigeria, although it's not explicitly stated, but because of the names. Um, and I just, I love the illustrations. I love the story. I love that they're telling a, you know, a different perspective of an African country that's not impoverished or um, negative in any way, or that, that, that doesn't come from a, um, yeah, never mind. Anyway, I like this book. <laughs> so let's look at some of the illustrations. So this is, the story is like what it says, a, a visit to granddad's house. I'm really struggling with getting this camera. So it's an ABC book, but I just love it. M is for mosquito net. There's one around my bed. N is for night with lots of stars above my head. The day you begin I think I have another book by Jacqueline Woodson um, that I enjoyed. So, but I like this one too. Yeah. So the day you begin begins like this. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way wor words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. So this is a story about new beginnings and how you um, deal with new beginnings. So this is one. This is another one to add to the collection. Crown. I love this book as well. I love the illustrations. I love the meter of the book. I just, I love that it's an ode to the fresh haircut because as you can tell, I have short hair and um, when I go to the barbershop and I like the haircut that I got, it, there is something about a fresh haircut. When my boys get haircuts, my husbands get haircuts, I'm like, yes, yes, you look good. 
<laughs> I liked this page. The whole school will be seasick from the rows and rows of ripples. You'll have more waves in your head than the Atlantic Ocean. Shout out to my do-rag and patience. So this <clears throat> this makes me think of a couple of songs. It makes me a couple of things. It makes me think of um, Soldier by Destiny's Child. At one point they say low cut seasons with the deep waves. And um, it makes me think of a cousin of mine who this boy just carried around a brush and he was constantly brushing his hair, trying to get the waves. I don't know if they ever came. He's probably still brushing his hair. <laughs> but um, but this, I just love this. It's it's a shout out to the culture. It's just for the culture, which I really, really appreciate. <laughs> this one, the cute girl in the class across the way won't be able to keep her pretty eyes off of you. Her friends will giggle and whisper, girl, he's so fine. Yeah, that's what they'll say. <laughs> And then there's a, a big double page spread. You know why? Because you'll leave out of the shop every single time feeling the exact same way. Magnificent, flawless, like royalty. Hello world. I just love this. That's another one to add to the collection. Octopus Stew. I love this by Eric Velasquez. I think that we've actually have we have another book um, that we own that's by Eric Velasquez, and I think I'm gonna go get it. But I I love this. It's got great illustrations. The story was really entertaining, and it's got Spanish in it as well. So it's a mix of English and Spanish. And um, I studied Spanish, and my I were teaching our boys Spanish. They have a they get one hour or half an hour of, of Spanish a week at their school. So this was a great addition, and this is probably one that I would purchase for our collection. Then Grandma came to sit with me while I did my homework. All of a sudden, strange noises started to come from the kitchen. Blimp, blump, brr, blimp, blump, brr. ¿Qué será eso? What could that be? Grandma asked. Ramsey, quédate aquí. Voy a ver. Stay here. So there's an example of how it's going back and forth between English and Spanish. And these illustrations are just so on point. I love this book. And then there's um, there are a couple of of big spreads. I will find them. So this goes all the way across. That wasn't very elegant, but you get the picture. So this is another one for the collection. I Can Be Anything, Don't Tell Me I Can't by Diane Dillon. This book is amazing. I just, I love the concept of it. I love the story of it. And in fact, my four-year-old just brought up, um, we were having a conversation in the car and he just said, remember in that book where, where they were saying, where they were trying to tell the little girl what she couldn't do? So anytime that we recall or they recall something that we read in books, it just really kind of um, brings joy to my heart. I can be anything. So I enjoyed this because it talks about the little voice in your head that tells you what you cannot do and how you have to battle through and, and tell that little voice to be quiet. And, you know, I think sometimes we forget as adults that that children have those same kind of same kind of battles. They're they're children, but they're little people with their own brains, their own challenges, their own personalities. And I have to remember that even when I'm dealing with my four year old and my two year old, they are little people with their own brains and their own their own issues. And so when they're trying to learn how to do something, my my four year old, he vocalizes it um, like when he was learning how to tie my shoe, tie his shoes. Um, you know, he would get frustrated. I can't do it. I'm never going to be able to tie my shoes. You know, so <laughs> of course, we, we talk about self-talk and how you can speak life into yourself. And so this book is a is a good example of that. So in this, um, these pages, I can be anything I want to be. Zoe stretched her arms and spun around. I'm a bird. I can fly way up high. 
floating on the wind. What if you fall, said the little voice. I won't fall. Birds have wings. If my wings get tired, I can fly in a rocket ship to a faraway planet. I'll meet planet people and have a tea party before I come home. What if you can't come home, said the voice. So it's just this conversation between this little girl and the voice in her head. This is another one for the collection. So hopefully um, you enjoyed my first library haul and um, got a good taste of the books that I think are good for the collection. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know. Um, yeah, just give me some feedback on the videos. My very first booktube. I'm a booktube newbie and just excited to share my love of books and the um, love of books that I am developing with my sons. So I will talk to you later. Bye.